Today we are bringing you along to close on a house that we just bought. So it's pretty crazy. Um, it's been like 90 some odd days uh, since we first signed the contract and whatnot. So this is pretty crazy that we're finally going to sign the papers. <laughs> going to sign our life away the wire transfer yesterday was uh probably I was gonna say, <laughs> everyone keeps wishing me luck i was like they already have their money so i'm excited though and then once the place is clean we can start putting stuff in it yeah and we're going to take you on a tour of the place when it's completely empty too so hi hi we own a house well we own two houses <laughs> <Technically>. <laughs> yes we do how, how was that experience? What did we have to do? Uh, well, I mean, of course we signed a bunch of papers, uh, and then she was gone for a really long time. <laughs> she just, she literally just like... I think it was about a half hour. Yeah, she she basically just left us for like, yeah. But I don't, it wasn't her fault, it was whoever was on the other end was just taking forever. Well, it was getting sent to our lender. They she needed a second form of ID which luckily I had my passport with us because like, and, and like luckily I saw something because otherwise we would have had to probably go get something because they- Which wouldn't have been that big of a deal, but. Right, we live like a mile and a half away from this as well. So it wasn't that big of a deal. We signed all the papers. We went over all of these documents with our attorney uh, yesterday. I'll be honest, I thought this was gonna take 30 minutes. It took an hour and 30 minutes. <laughs> now, now we're going to pick up a couple things from... Lowe's. Or Menards! <laughs> <laughs> um, they also shorted us on the check. It's $835. And I was like, oh, hell no! <laughs> that is not freaking happening, so... Yeah, now we're gonna go to Lowe's um, or Manette's <laughs> to pick up some toilet brushes and then Yeah, that's our first thing that we're doing after we bought a house. <laughs> I was like, I, we need toilet brushes if we're gonna clean. <laughs> and then we're going to go to uh, the, house. the house to uh, pick up the keys because they're in the lockbox and yeah, clean. <laughs> yeah, the place is completely empty, um, which is nice because the prior owners uh, emptied the place out. Uh, so I guess obviously the front foyer area, and then this goes into the living room, and then into the dining room. We got some nice hardwood floors and nice neutral color on the walls. And then before we go into there, let me go into this uh, den over here. So this can work as whatever. We're gonna use it as a workout room. So this is the den, if you will, uh, but we're gonna use it as a workout room. Um, I'm kind of pissed that the prior owners drilled some holes into the wall into the or into the baseboards into or the trim uh that's kind of annoying to me uh and they've actually done this in a lot of places so um that doesn't make me too happy but yeah it's a pretty big space so it looks like you know probably have a treadmill in here and some tv and some weights and stuff like that four can lights which is good to have and then here is sort of a pretty large hallway which is nice if you're especially moving stuff i'll go into the laundry room and the half bath here so this is the laundry room got some washer and dryers which may or may not be original garage you can actually open so here's the garage um it's not, I don't think it's bigger than what we currently have. It actually seems like it's roughly the same size as what we currently have. They left the shelving, which is nice uh, if you want to put like stuff on top of there. And then it actually has an attic, which I went in for the inspection, which was pretty cool. 
got to clean this place up a little bit and it kind of sucks that it's not painted, but oh well, I think that's fine. Moving along here. Uh, we'll go into the half bath here. Uh, looks like they got a new um, fixture here. It's got an original toilet, but it's nice because um, it's sort of tucked away from all the other rooms. Then we'll move into the kitchen and the, um, the family room area. This is kind of a longer space. Um, and they did this again over here, which is super annoying to me. Can we read our letter? Yeah. They have some, is that wine? like wine. It's not champagne, is it? It's like a sparkling something. Uh, Caroline and Derek, welcome to your new home. Hope you love it as much as we did. It has been a wonderful neighborhood. Enjoy and best wishes, Joe and Paul. Nice. Nice. I really like them. <laughs> this is the kitchen. Yeah, you like the kitchen? Oh yeah, I can't wait to cook in this kitchen. So tons of counter space, um, you know, obviously stainless steel appliances. They have a new, uh, I don't know how that's pronounced. Is it Mille or Mille? Oh, yeah, um, I've heard it pronounced several ways. I don't know that anybody really knows. A new uh, dishwasher, which is most likely a ton quieter than ours is, which is nice. Um, Pretty nice uh, setup here. Uh, I don't think there's a garbage disposal, so I think that's the only gripe. Nice trees up here. Might need to trim it because it'll probably rub against the house. Um, GE appliances. These are just normal ones. Um, nothing too high end or anything like that. And the refrigerator, which is a refrigerator. <laughs> I think it's nicer than ours is for sure. It's got a bottom freezer, so I don't know how you're gonna like that. <laughs> yeah, this is the majority of the house. Obviously there's a backyard too, um, which has nice pavers on it. We can walk out there real quick. So it's pretty loud back here. There's some bushes here that definitely need some maintenance. That's going to be part of, uh, Caroline in my job. Um, big pines here, nice trees. Um, there is some traffic noise in the back here because there is a road back here that's fairly busy. And then obviously backs into um, some other people's yards. And then here there's like a little garden area. So I think Caroline's gonna plant some items here that we can like, you know, some lettuce, some things that we can grow and cook with. But this place is pretty overgrown right now, so we'll definitely need to do some maintenance to the lawn here. So, and also to, yeah, obviously the rest of this here. So yeah, let's uh, go through the rest of the house. All right, moving upstairs. You need to be a little careful here because all of this is wood. Um, the entire home is filled with hard, like either wood floors or tile. So this is an area where we're a little bit interested in figuring out what we're gonna do with. It's likely we'll possibly put like a little bookshelf here and a little seat here for like a reading corner. This is the master bedroom. So it's nice, it has two doors to actually open up. And this is roughly around the same size as what we currently live in. Um, some of these shades that we have here are pretty tired and worn out and We'll likely have to replace the windows eventually, but it's nice that you get a lot of natural light. But in a bedroom, we're gonna want to certainly uh, be able to, let's say, we'll certainly want to be able to uh, sleep in this. So um, it's likely we'll get some blackout curtains to black out the sun here. But yeah, this is the master bedroom. Walking over here. This is uh, obviously a closet, uh, so we'll probably share a part of this as well as a part of this uh, walk-in closet here, which is pretty large. It's probably double the size of what we 
currently have as a walk-in closet. And we might also add in some shelving here too. Linen closet here, and then the uh, master bathroom, which is really large, um, has the same countertops as um, what we were walking through before on the uh, kitchen. So this is pretty nice and, you know, we like this countertop. I uh, got a nice window, two actual windows here. So that's nice for natural light. You actually don't have to have the uh, lights on in here, which is kind of cool. A large tub, which is similar to the condo tub. Um, oh, yeah. yeah! Caroline can fit in it and maybe I can fit in it too. Nice shower. I th haven't actually like stepped in this shower before, um, but it seems pretty, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty wide. It's pretty big, so that's nice. So obviously this is your water closet where your toilet is. So this is, you know, where your fan is and where your um, original toilet is. So, you know, if- um, The throne, if you will. I need to be going to the bathroom. Caroline can be in here and also like brushing her teeth. So I have a vanity where nice. I do my hair. Yeah. So it's it's quite large. It's, it's probably around the same size as the um, condo bathroom, except maybe like a couple feet sliced off of it. Never mind. I, condo, I, so. big. I thought the one in our house was big. Yeah, this is this is quite large. So, let's go through the rest of the rooms real quick. Um, this is the another bedroom here, uh, four bedrooms total, um, but we're probably going to use this as an office. Um, this is a little bit smaller than what we wanted for Caroline's office but it's next to the bedroom. So we don't really want to use this as like a, like we don't really want to use this as a second bedroom because if we have guests here, it's kind of weird to be like right next to the master. I think I'll do like shelves and maybe my desk will look out the window. I like looking out the window when I work. Sure. I'll all be looking at the neighbor's kids probably. <laughs> uh, coming out here, I, I also mentioned like what we're going to do out here most likely. Another linen closet for the second bedroom or bathroom up here. And this is the second bathroom, which is really nice. I, I don't know how I feel about this flooring just yet. It's super grippy, which is nice, but the, yeah. I think I, it adds some like texture and interest to the room. I really like what they chose for like the shower. Yeah, this is all really nice. It's all very similar um, and uh, the fixtures are the same as what they have in the master, which is nice. Um, this is also the same tile, which is nice. Um, and These they are have, soft clothes. Yeah, soft clothes. And it's actually nicer than the one in the master. It's probably more recently updated, maybe. Well, this is this is a vanity that they bought, so. Oh, that's why. Um, right. Yeah. The other one, they just replaced the tops because it's lower. Okay. Like, yeah. yeah. So this is interesting flooring. I'm not sure how I feel. Jury's still out on that one. This is going to be a second bedroom. Uh, so this is going to be our guest bedroom, up here, essentially. This is interesting because it literally has one can light. Well, it's can light. <laughs> we haven't shown you the basement yet, so that that'll be interesting. I can spy on the neighbors from here. <laughs> Uh, this one has two can lights, which is a little bit more normal. This is... <laughs> so this is another bedroom. So this is the fourth and final bedroom. This is a very large room. Since I work from home most of the time, uh, it's likely that I'll take this as my office. It's got some closet space. It's got closet. Yeah. Gear and equipment. Yeah. Um, so this face is the front of the house, so this is north facing, and then the other side of the house is south facing. Can you see so. the golf course at all? Not really. Not this time of year, but when there's no leaves on the trees over here. Right. <laughs> yeah, these windows are tired. Well, these trees are going to be beautiful in the fall. Yeah, for sure. Uh, other than that, I think uh, the only thing we haven't shown you yet is the basement. So uh, we'll walk there and then we'll start cleaning. There's also an attic space up here, which I've also been in. Very large uh, space. Don't plan on like finishing that at all, but you know, it's just nice to see what's up there and see what the condition is. So moving down, final 
room, if you will, to the basements. Got all night here. This is all unfinished. So you can see the concrete work on the wall and everything looks pretty good down here. Uh, they the owners cleaned it up really well. So this is nice uh, that they've done this. Um, Got to get a smoke detector for down here for sure. Um, they left two extra, like uh, this is a fridge and then a freezer here. We don't actually know if any of this works. So we'll definitely have to double check to see if that actually works or not. Um, down here we have a place for um, a toilet. Uh, so this is already like ready to be pre-plumbed in. So um, if we do want to eventually finish this place off, which we may do, um, then we can certainly put a bathroom down here, which will increase the value of the home, which is nice. Uh, moving through here, this is stuff that you may not care about or may not know about, uh, but this is a water heater. This is original. This is likely going to be replaced. We're going to replace it with a tankless water heater um, that's electric and hopefully getting some solar panels as well. Um, that's something that I've been really keen on getting. And what's nice about this house is that, you know, there's a, it's, um, south facing um where the most of the roof line is so it's likely we'll be able to get a pretty uh, large amount of solar panels on here so it'll be really good for us um and the environment so here we have this was replaced in 2017 this is the uh, furnace um outside the ac unit was replaced in 2017 as well so those are nice that we probably won't have to worry about those for a little while this has the humidity setting and if you have wood floors i've been told to turn this off um in the summertime and then this is the humidity our humidifier that's connected to it so again um this is the basement it's huge Obviously, because it's just, you know, it's not done. So, um, yeah, there's just a ton of storage space for us. And then here is the sump pump and then the battery backup, which needs to be uh, plugged in. So, yeah, I think uh, this is really the house tour. Um, I don't know if you want to see the electrical grid here. There's only a couple more left here, but I think we can also unplug the uh, security system because we have our own security system that we're bringing in here. Um, but yeah, um, this is everything. This is, this is our new place. Uh, we have some stuff that's on order for furniture, but a lot of the stuff that we have we'll be using. I guess if you haven't seen uh, my condo video, I sold that place and I did a tour of that place as well. So I referenced a lot of things out of there. So feel free to look at that or watch that video. Um, if you haven't seen the video of our um, vlog uh, in Sanibel, Florida, make sure you check that out. We did another tour of the Sanibel condo. And other than that, um, if you like the content, feel free to subscribe, like the video. And we will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.